Hello and welcome to a daily vlog style English lesson sponsored by Cambly Kids from me, Charlie, on Real English with Real Teachers. Real Teachers. In this video, I will of course be teaching you daily English phrases to help you communicate better in English. But I'm also hoping that you can help me on a quest. Mm, yes, you see, I've just moved into a new neighbourhood. And one thing that I was totally unaware of before moving here to Australia was that Australians, they really pride themselves in making fantastic coffee. Now, I've been, I've been drinking coffee for, you know, a few years now, almost a decade, I think. So I, I'm no newbie, you know, but uh, since arriving here almost a year ago now, I've become a full-blown coffee addict. I admit it. My partner even mentioned how she thinks my teeth are turning yellow, which um, is obviously not what you want to, uh, to hear from your partner. But still, I can't bring myself to kick the habit and I blame, I blame the Aussies for doing it so bloody well out here. You know, I, I assumed that the best coffee in the world would probably come from Italy or, or at least be sold in Italy. But um, having been to both countries, Australian cafes win the contest hands down. Easy, it's not even a competition. So as I said earlier, I'm on a quest because I've just moved to a new neighborhood. And so my previous preferred coffee joint that I had taken time to suss out is no longer within arm's reach. So I need to go out and find myself a good old, good old stinking hot cup of joe. I actually moved into this place five weeks ago, but I've been waiting for the lockdown to ease. And thankfully, Australia has managed to avoid getting a horrendous outbreak. So we are allowed out and, uh, and the coffee shops are selling cups to go. So uh, you're going to help me check out what they've got to offer in this new neighborhood. And in return, I'll help you out with your English along the way in this video. Sound fair? Yeah? Okay, let's find some coffee. So the area I've just moved to is called Balmain, which is on the southern side of the harbour, but on a peninsula slightly west of the city centre, or what you could call the downtown area if you're an American, or the Aussies, they call it the CBD, the Central Business District. So that's where I am in Balmain, and that's where you you are going to find me the best coffee, one that, you know, truly hits the spot. So come on, let's go have a look at what they have to offer after a quick word from the sponsor of this video. I've had a bunch of students who want their kids to start learning English from a young age, which is great, but they often don't know where to look online for properly trained and safe tutors for their kids. Well, Today's sponsor is Cambly Kids, which is an app for young English learners between the ages of four to 15. And they've been certified as a kid safe educational program designed exclusively for young English learners. And better yet, they are the most convenient tutoring service in terms of scheduling that we've come across so far. So if you want to give your child the gift of learning a global language with a native tutor that is not only trained to teach in line with standardized academic English, but actually knows how to engage with your child in English, then check out Cambly Kids in the description box below. And before we get back to the video, I wanted to say something we all know, but we might need reminding at some points that 
At a young age, we are open to so many areas of interest and it's the passionate teachers that heavily influence our decisions and the paths we go on to choose. So finding a tutor for your child that isn't forceful, but is fun and engaged is everything for the chance of your child to fall in love with this language that gives endless possibilities and opens so many more doors for them in the future. So I really recommend Cambly Kids for those of you who are wanting to find a solution for your children. And what's great is the lessons are all recorded, meaning you can really see how they are getting on with their studies and, and, and teachers without them feeling uncomfortable with you in the same room as them. Let's get back to the video, but I'll tell you about Cambly Kids' crazy discounted offer for our followers at the end of this video. Okay, so I'd like to say, I've, I never thought I would sound like a pretentious coffee snob, um, but you know, life unfolds in ways that you can't predict. And I have to admit that I now get a bit sad inside if the milk in the coffee is a bit too frothy, or if it's a bit light, or the coffee isn't strong enough, and, and if the ratio, or if the ratio of the coffee and the milk is, is way off, then yeah, I'm very sad inside. But today we're full of hope because you are getting me the best coffee in Balmain, aren't you? Yes. So you're gonna find me the best one in town. Don't let me down. Being that we're not allowed in the coffee shops, we're going to have to go against the advice of that famous idiom, don't judge a book by its front cover. And we will indeed be judging the coffee shops based on the aesthetics of the coffee shop from the outside. Now we have this one called the Little Marionette. And it's a very small one. It could almost be classed as a hole in the wall especially at the moment as everything is actually just to go so you can't go in there so it is very much just a hole in the wall at the moment thank you very much the next one we have is caffeine which looks like it's going for a bit more of an industrial style with weathered wood it might have some exposed brick at the back some industrial lighting with filament lamps and, and maybe some concrete. So basically anything that, that looks like it could be um, from a factory is what I mean by industrial. Hey, can I get a flat white please? Yep. Yeah. Uh, no sugar? No sugar, no. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. All right, uh, let's let's go on to the next one. So the third and final cafe that I want to sample with you is uh, this one here, Chow Time. And it's a real hidden gem in Balmain as it's just beyond the high street. So some very lazy people could say it's a little out of the way, but it's uh, a rather lovely looking idiosyncratic little place with some rustic charm and attention to detail when it comes to the interior design so yeah it, it's full of character but will the coffee be up to scratch Hiya. hello can i get a flat white please uh no just that thanks cool thank you now you've seen the three contenders, let's review that coffee. Right, okay, there we go. Here we have all of the coffees in Balmain, or at least three of the most interesting coffee shops that I could see on Balmain High Street. Are they any good? Which will I go back to, if any? That is obviously why you are still watching, right? So, let me review them with some useful English for you. All right, first off, we've got to give credit to the design 
of the takeaway cup. You see there, yes. I've, uh, I've been gradually pushed towards using a keep cup to save the planet, one coffee at a time, but um, during the outbreak, it's apparently a bit unhygienic. So I've been able to uh, use and abuse the coffee cups, hallelujah. So immediately, I'd say that caffeine comes out on top. Um, I think the, the little graphics are quite cool. The, the little doodles, um, they look almost like something that someone would, would draw on a coffee cup if they're bored, listening to someone explain which coffee they prefer. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I like the font on this one. Simple, minimal, which is um, apparently a style that is very much in at the moment. So, yeah, these are quite good. This is probably better. I can see what Chow Time are doing here, what they're going for, but to be brutally honest, I don't appreciate it. It's not my cup of tea. On to the, the jitter juice. Um, full disclaimer, I don't say that slang term, the jitter juice. Um, I just say coffee or the black stuff maybe, but I saw it online and I liked it. So I might start using it, the jitter juice, because you know, coffee really does make me um, have the jitters. The jitters is when, when you shake. And uh, yeah, too much coffee, Ooh, I, I jitter, I jitter. And yes, you were right. As soon as you thought saw these three cups um, come through that door, you thought, right, I will be bouncing off the walls today if I have these three cups back to back. Generally speaking, uh, I don't hear many natives uh, speak about coffee more than saying it's good, bad, strong, weak, or perhaps maybe milky. They might say it's, it's milky if there's too much milk. They might say that the, the milk is burnt, if it is, if it tastes sweeter and, and thinner. If you want to sound a cut above the rest when describing your coffee, then the three areas I've heard some highlight are the aroma, the smell, the acidity, which is the flavors, and the body, which is the texture. With the aroma being how it smells, I've heard some coffee snobs talk about it being earthy. I've heard that word quite a lot. Maybe spicy. I wouldn't like a spicy coffee, but yeah, I've heard that. Floral, like this one, or nutty. Those are just some, some descriptors. Okay, um, let's see, let's see what we've got with the little marionette. I'd say this one is a bit floral, a bit floral. Then with acidity, you've got the bright, tangy, fruity or, or wine-like flavor characteristics. Uh, I would say is a bright flavor, a bright flavor, floral, bright, um, and then the body, the final, final one of the three. So we've got aroma, we've got acidity, and then we've got um, body, which is the physical mouth feel and texture of the coffee. And most mention them to be light, medium, or full. That's pretty easy. Uh, I would say that this one was light, it was light. I also comment on the, the milk being smooth or frothy, which is um, more about how the milk was steamed. Um, and a nice word associated to a flat white, not a cappuccino, a flat white, is velvety. The milk was quite velvety. Uh, the fabric velvet is really smooth and soft but quite thick, so it works quite well with the explanation of smooth milk. Um, so this one, I would say, was medium to light, and I'd say I've had a smoother, more velvety, flat white coffee before. It's not, it's not my favorite I've had so far. Okay, so this one, caffeine, uh, it's a little stronger, got a bit more of a punch to it. Uh, it's more earthy and, and uh, yeah, medium to full bodied, medium to full bodied. And this guy, Chow Time. Okay. Mm. 
a lot stronger. So yeah, this one, very strong, earthy again, uh, perhaps a bit, bit more like a, a wine-like flavour. And um, I would go with full bodied, full bodied. I'm saying all of these to you to give you a wider understanding of the vocabulary available for you. But I don't encourage you to say all of these words if someone you don't know is asking you how your coffee is, because um, you'd look like a, a complete maniac. You'd look like a, a, a real coffee snob, which is probably what I'm looking like in this video. But if you want to sound a bit more knowledgeable, you could drop in one, maybe two of these words. Unless you do want to impress them and you want to sound like you know a lot about coffee, then yeah, go for it. Go to town, sure. So, did you help find me a new coffee shop in my new neighbourhood? Yes, you certainly did. And the award goes to... I would say... Meh. Yeah, this one. Very strong. I like a strong coffee now. I believe I will be going back to this place many times to, you know, help me wake up and serve my students proudly. Uh, talking of which, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, as Harry and I are in such different time zones again, we need to find ways to, to give you real English on our own. And I hope you noticed how much there was in this video. There was a lot of real English. So, you know, make sure you practice the vocabulary I suggest watching it a couple of times, perhaps, or at least pausing the video to take notes. And as always, always, I can't recommend this enough, give us a comment using the phrases in the video. It, it helps you practice in an active way. It shows me that you like this content, and it also tells YouTube that it's a good video. So go on, go on. Comment using the phrases that I've used in this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And why don't you share it? I dare you to share it with someone. That would really help. Anyway, that's enough from me. I'm going to go uh, get high on these cups of coffee. And I will see you next time on Real English with Real Teachers. Cheers. Before you go, I wanted to tell you about the discount that Camberley Kids are offering. You can use our code REALTEACHERS10 to get a ridiculous 32% discount off their annual plan. So open the description box by clicking on that side arrow and find the link and voucher codes for these offers and enjoy. Get that kid of yours fluent. Go on. They will, they will love you for forever. Fact.